Robbie Coltrane, who is best known for his roles in Harry Potter, Cracker, and James Bond, died in a hospital near his home in Larbert, Scotland, his agent, Belinda Wright, confirmed. In a statement, she said, My client and friend Robbie Coltrane OBE passed away on Friday, October 14. Robbie was a unique talent, sharing the Guinness Book of Records award for winning three consecutive Best Actor BAFTAs for his portrayal of Fitz in Granada TV's series Cracker in 1994, 1995 and 1996 with Sir Michael Gambon. He will probably be best remembered for decades to come as Hagrid in the Harry Potter films, a role which brought joy to children and adults alike all over the world, prompting a stream of fan letters every week for over 20 years. James Bond fans write too to applaud his role in GoldenEye and the world is not enough. For me personally I shall remember him as an abidingly loyal client. As well as being a wonderful actor, he was forensically intelligent, brilliantly witty and after 40 years of being proud to be called his agent, I shall miss him. He is survived by his sister Annie Ray, his children Spencer and Alice and their mother Rona Jemil. They would like to thank the medical staff at Fourth Valley Royal Hospital in Larbert for their care and diplomacy. Please respect Robbie's family's privacy at this distressing time. Tributes to the late star have been led by Stephen Fry, with whom he starred in the comedy series Al Fresco. He tweeted, I first met Robbie Coltrane almost exactly 40 years ago. I was awe slash terror slash love struck all at the same time. Such depth power and talent, funny enough to cause helpless hiccups and honking as we made our first TV show, Al Fresco. Farewell, old fellow. You'll be so dreadfully missed. Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, also paid tribute to the star, describing his death as very sad news. She said, he had such range and depth as an actor from brilliant comedy to hard-edged drama. I think my favorite of all his roles was Fitz in Cracker. Robbie Coltrane, Scottish entertainment legend, you will be hugely missed. R.I.P. Robbie had suffered from ill health for several years and battled painful osteoarthritis in the later years of his life. He first worried fans back in 2019 when he was pictured in a wheelchair, unable to walk. Sources at the time reported that he had been in constant pain for years and needed knee replacement surgery after the condition destroyed his joints. Speaking in 2020, Robbie said, I was fighting pain 24 hours a day when I was in national treasure and great expectations. I had no cartilage in my knee. It was bone on bone. Robbie's cause of death has not yet been confirmed. The acting legend was married to Rona Gamble from 1999 until 2003 and the pair had two children. His impressive career spanned more than 40 years and earned him a collection of awards and honors, including three BAFTAs for his work on Cracker. Robbie was awarded an OBE from the Queen in 2006 for services to drama. He said at the time, once you've been doing anything for 25 years people start to notice you. What was really nice about the OBE is that it's the first award where I didn't have to make a speech and I didn't have to sit there waiting to see if it won, I knew I was going to get it. 